for kids. Star Wars was just a phenomenon. It, it didn't fit into the mold of what people understood a movie to be. The potential that it fulfilled wasn't even imagined before it came out. The sheer numbers of people, the sheer numbers of fans, the sheer numbers of toys. Modern day film merchandising, today a multi-billion dollar industry, takes off with Star Wars. There are about 400,000 pieces in here in the 10,000 square foot museum. We also have a, an off-site storage facility that houses uh, more stuff than I want to think about. Steve Sansweet has the world's largest collection of Star Wars memorabilia, housed in an enormous facility dubbed Rancho Obi-Wan. Star Wars is really the very first successfully licensed, merchandised movie. But unlike today, when toys are out six weeks to a couple of months before a movie comes out, there were no toys in advance of movies. They had to be made after a movie came out to see whether they were successful. And so people said, that ah, science fiction movie, we're not going to do anything. The demand for Star Wars takes everyone by such surprise that kids expecting Star Wars toys for Christmas in 1977 are instead sent an early bird certificate, an IOU in the mail. Basically an empty cardboard box. Well, it wasn't quite empty. It had a cardboard stage and some things to send away. And you would be among the first to get your first four action figures by sending the slip of paper away. You get them beginning in February of 1978.